So this first trouble condition is called the bell circuit trouble. And basically all this means is that the system supervises any sirens hooked up. So off the bat, it is looking for a siren. And if you don't have one hooked up, then it's gonna throw this fault. And you can use either a siren to silence it, or you can also use a resistor, which is what I'm gonna do. And that is gonna take away that trouble condition so that you can proceed with programming. And the first one is the bell circuit. We can check this on the touch screen also. Hit troubles, and then there's service required, communications, battery trouble. Same thing we saw there. That service required is the bell circuit. So for the bell circuit, what that means is it's not reading a siren hooked up to the system. So let's jump over to the panel, and I'm gonna use a resistor in place of the siren because we don't want a siren going off in the shop. And here's our 1000 ohm resistor, and we're just going to insert it into the bell positive and bell negative terminals. Alright, so we got that resistor hooked up. So let's hit star 2, and we'll go back to service required. The only thing that's left is loss of clock. 